Hey guys, it's me, Fox. Uh, I've been getting quite a few questions about my flat cooling, and I thought this is a good opportunity to show you some tests and comparison between two or three different uh, cooling ways or methods. And um, there are basically two categories. Uh, one is a flat cooling and the other one it's a mist cooling. Any of those cooling methods have the same purpose to uh, cool, lubricate and to remove chips. Um, and then from those two groups there are lots of variations uh, in the design and how many nozzles and pressures and stuff like that. To better illustrate the difference between them I'm gonna take this piece of aluminium and turn it into dust. And I would like to start with my Foxy cooling system. Let's take a look. To make some mess I'm gonna remove 20 millimeters of that block in two passes, 10 millimeter each. Right, here we go. As you can see, the chips are getting pushed down by the amount of water and the coolant is accessing all sides. The atmosphere inside the machine is pretty clean, as you can see. Um, there are few splashes here and there, but it doesn't make mist out of it. The drops are falling down pretty quick. And the last pass. Still looks clean. And the flow rate of the coolant is uh, 60 liters per minute. Almost there. Done. Okay, that's how it looks after cutting it. There are some chips on the right side, which I'm gonna clean with my new clean button. Here we go. I wrote a small macro which moves the machine in this pattern. Nothing really fancy. And it moves uh, three meters per minute. Uh, that's actually the maximum speed I can uh, get from those steppers. Okay, so the bottom looks pretty clean except maybe the right side, there are a few chips left. So that was uh, Foxy flat cooling in action and now I'm gonna switch into off the shelf uh, flat cooling system. That one has 1.8 uh, horsepower pump and it's supposed to be delivering uh, 20 liters per minute. Turns out that uh, it only delivers two. Anyway, it does the job and let's see the difference. I lifted the block up in the vise and I'm gonna run exactly the same program. 20 millimeters deep, two passes. And here we go with the coolant. As you can see, the atmosphere is uh, dense. <laughs> this is a 
typical single nozzle plug cooling. You can have multiple nozzles, but in this case I'm using one. This cooling setup would look very similar to that one. It also uses one nozzle or multiple of them, but instead of uh, pure coolant, it uses mostly a compressed air with very little coolant mixed in it and to blow the chips off. The amount of mass would be very similar, uh, or pretty much identical because those chips have to go somewhere. Now looking at that mess, I hope it's pretty obvious why I came up with my own plug cooling system. Okay, it's done. Ish. Jesus. Look at that mess. It's freaking everywhere. You're looking at one and a half minute of milling. Try and imagine how it would look after one hour. <laughs> I don't even know where to start cleaning it really. <laughs> Gee, uh, you can barely see the vice on the right. And the one on the left is pretty well camouflaged as well. Uh, take a look at the camera. Yeah. Let me tell you, cleaning was so much fun. I think I should do it more often. <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, that was a single nozzle flat cooling. And uh, I used to use it some time ago uh, to kneel those covers. Um, and it kind of works when you have that nozzle. 45 degrees and so it kind of works on that angle but when the end mill goes on the back then the coolant is going over so it's completely useless um, then the other thing was that when it comes to drilling a deep pocket that two liters a minute wasn't enough to get rid of the chips from inside and I was remilling chips so that's why I came up with my um, flood cooling system but um, this uh, single nozzle or double nozzle or how many whatever nozzles you want to put um, has um, one problem which is uh, air pollution uh, this is a well-known problem and the people came up with the solutions for it which is a uh, air filter which you put inside the machine and it sucks the contaminated air and uh, speeds the clean air almost like a sound lasting cabinet where it sucks the air from inside and dump it into a vacuum cleaner um, so when you open the door you don't breathe the, the dirty air uh, or in the case of uh, cnc oily when the coolant hits fast spinning end mill the end mill it's atomizing the coolant into tiny particles and they float and I want to show you that on some uh, slow motion close-up videos. Take a look on the left or the right side against the black background. The amount of drops floating in the air. Yep. Oh, it's everywhere. And here are it looks the case and inside you can see the drops going from very top uh, of the machine so like everything inside was wet and now you can see my coolant and take a look at the background there is no like drops flying randomly air is pretty clean and only this what you have are big drops which are falling pretty quick I could talk about cooling for hours, but I'm not entirely sure if someone will watch it. Um, so I can only hope 
that you enjoyed this video as much I was enjoying cleaning. And what can I say more? See you next time.